good. Sounds really good. Who, who do you have right there? Right here we have a group that got together today uh, as part of the rally that's going on around the nation in different cities. Uh, and this group met out in front of the uh, federal courthouse uh, earlier this morning and immediately uh, Homeland Security drove up. They didn't really confront them or anything like that, but this group decided to, to move on, not to attract trouble. Okay, so now what, are they, what is their cause exactly? What are they doing there today? This, this is in support of uh, Lavoy Thinicum, uh, the Bundys, the Hammonds, um, everybody that has uh, that was involved in the with the refuge. Um, let me talk to this. Would you like to talk on on the on the show? Okay. Um, what's your name? Uh, Julie. And uh, can you tell us a bit, a little bit about this event here today? Um, it's I'm here um, in uh, for Lavoie Finnegum, and I'm nervous. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so nervous. Live. Tell I'm, her she's anyway, live. I'm here for Lavoie Finnegum. And how long have you been uh, aware of this whole situation going on with Burns, Oregon? And I um, was watching TV, and a report uh, from the FBI came out about a man. It's okay. What? Tell her to continue, please. Kim Ware was from the FBI video, so I'm new to all of this. And obviously the the video upset you tremendously and that's why you're here yes and i i i'm like how could that happen and why are why are you hearing stories because i'm also on facebook and why are you hearing stories that the fbi is saying one thing and other people are saying another so not wanting to believe anything because you can't believe anything unless you do your homework and i investigated and i found out that everything that's going on is a lie the BLM is a lie, the federal government is a lie, and the boy Finnicum was murdered. And those are the facts that I've concluded after reviewing all the evidence. And I've read a lot of evidence. And just recently, yesterday, the Oregon governor released the transcript, 600 pages, over 600 pages of email. And when I read those 600 pages of email, I, I had to go to the bathroom and throw up because I was so disgusted at what I was reading. And it's terrible. How can our government do this to us? We're human beings. We're not animals. And we don't belong in the cage. And I'm not a caged animal, and I'm out. I'm outside. I'm not a caged animal. Where is she from? And where, where are you from? California. Okay, that's California, good. That's, that's good. Fine. Uh, how 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 much has this country changed? Radio. Tell her tell her this is Mark Connors from oh, the great. Connors Report. Oh well, well, hello, all my clients. You're she's a business owner, so. Uh, you, you know what? We're everybody California. respect. Tell her that we all respect her for standing up. She's a patriot. And she's a hero in her own. Um, I'm sorry. No, not at all. Can't hear her. I haven't had a chance to Radio. get calloused about this. And it's just all, everything that I'm reading is just so raw and so, it's not, I'm not living in Julie's world anymore. In my world, everything was perfect. And then one day I look at the TV and my world isn't perfect. And our world is not perfect. And nothing is perfect, but it's got to be better than this. Thank you for coming out here and, and, and taking a stand. You know, there's people out here that, that would be here if they could be, and uh, and you're one of them, and uh, you represent, you know, a, a lot of people out here. There was one cowboy that stood for freedom, and it only takes one. Lavoie Finnicum, I'm number two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep counting them, Lavoie. We're out here, and it began with one. There were many more before Lavoie. Lavoie's voice is being heard, and I will carry his word till the day I die. Freedom. Freedom. Does she? Does she? Have, does she have children? Do. Does she have children? Do you have children? No, and I'm glad. Why? Why? Because this is never going to get fixed, and it's only going to get worse. And I wouldn't want to leave any of my children this legacy. They talk about leaving the 
the debt and social security to our children. They're all worried about the money. Well, what about freedom? And what about jobs? What about letting people just have the right to live, grow their own vegetables, grow their own animals, have food that doesn't have pesticides? It's not geo. G yeah. Okay. I want to take a picture of her sign here that she has here. Uh huh. What does it say? Read it for us. Lavoy, we will have victory over oppression. And it says, God called me home. I'm calling you to finish what I started. She has another one. Don't ever mistake my silence for ignorance, my calmness for acceptance, or my kindness for weakness. And what's this nice lady's name again? And uh, what was your name again? Sorry. Julie. Julie. Julie, are you a Second Amendment lady? No. I don't know what to tell you. It's raw. I can't help it. I'm emotional. Tell her, here's my sleeve. <laughs> don't apologize. You don't need to apologize. Um, we wanted to know, are you a Second Amendment lady? For the Second Amendment? Hell yeah. Are you, are you a Trump? Actually, I'm filing for my conceal and carry permit. Why? And why is that? Uh, it's dangerous times we live in right now. Has dangerous she ever considered time. moving? And have you ever considered moving? No. Why not? Where, where are you going to go? Texas. To <laughs> <laughs> There's no place to go. There's no place to go. Actually, it's she's right. She's right. There is nowhere to I'd go I'd rather anymore. live where there's sunshine than snow anyway. Uh -huh. I think okay. I have a little bit more freedom and, here. And what does she plan on? Or what I do for a living and my livelihood. So uh -huh. can that's we ask? why I won't move. Uh -huh. And what would you say, Mark? Uh, can we ask what she plans on doing from here on out? This is pretty emotional for her. I mean, what is she going to dedicate her, her the rest of her life to doing this every day or what? Okay. What are your plans from here on out? Uh, are you planning on, on dedicating your life to getting the word out like this or... Um, as a matter of fact, yes. As a matter of fact, I plan to, uh, I did uh, just a couple nights, not last night, but the night before, I went to my first ever Assemblyman um, open house meeting in Pasadena, California, and I plan to um, take all of my information, I plan to knock on my city council's door, and I plan to keep going until something happens. Gee, how did I get that feeling? Or until I die. <laughs> and I will be going to assembly meetings, and I will be telling and spreading the word and talking with people and educating people about our liberties. Tell her that I got that feeling from her. That's why I asked that. We had the feeling, Mark, Mark had that feeling that, that you were gonna be doing that. That's what he asked. Yeah, they kind of, the FBI, I, I, I'm sorry, but you did this to me. You created a monster, and I'm, I'm not threatening anybody, but I'm not stopping. And I, if I have my choice, I will run for public office, and I will make changes. I will. I'm not going to sit home anymore and just watch my life. I didn't know I was watching my life go by. More people need to get involved. You all need to get off the couch. You need to leave your keyboards at home and you need to get out and you need to help. You need to, we all can work together as one. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Well said. Thank you so much. Tell her I say God bless her. Mark Hunter says God bless you.